It's part one of our interview with Paul Carrick. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Now, here's a vocalist that you've heard an awful lot. Ace, How Long, Squeeze, Tempted, Mike and the Mechanics, Salad Running, Living Years, and Over My Shoulder. Not to mention his solo hits, most notably Don't Shed a Tear. He's worked with Eric Clapton, Madness, Roxy Music, Elton John, Roger Waters, and a host of others. Has two co-writes on Eagles albums. This guy's done an awful lot. Here's part one of our conversation with the great Paul Carrick. When Ace and How Long, I mean, I know that's your song and you sang it, but when, when, with, uh, what, what did that feel like? I mean, it's yours. You created it. Uh, you know, the band, it was a great time in music. Um, um, I love the 70s, love the mid 70s. But how did it feel for you? I mean, how did your friends and family react to that? That yeah, was pretty exciting. I mean, uh, like I say, I'd been from leaving school at 15. I had been living hand to mouth. Um, we we had this little band, Aced, playing for in pubs for beer money. We we made a record somehow, and um, it had this big old hit. I mean, it was exhilarating, and it, it brought us to the states and all that. But then it got a bit scary because you know we were suddenly our first tour of the states was opening up for Yes in the. Wow in the arenas, you know, and we were this dodgy little bar band, you know, in our scruffy t-shirts and no show or anything, you know, uh, winging it. <laughs> and, uh, How did the audience react to you? Cause you, you were like different bands. Oh, very much. <laughs> I think, it, I think we were put together because there was some link with them, with the manage managers, but or the, uh, the agency, but it was the wrong thing. We could, it'd have been great if we could have gone over and played clubs and bars and, felt our way in but it was it was a bit scary we got away with it because that hit that that was such a big hit everybody knew it and uh, so we just about got away with it (laughs) so it's not about cheating obviously it's about a band member possibly playing with somebody else can you give me the reader's digest version um well it wasn't the fact that he was playing with somebody else that was okay i mean we we were struggling but we we were a tight (laughs) band ace We, we we had a lot of fun and we were mad soccer fans we used to play soccer all the time so we had these our mates i might as well tell you who they are i think everybody knows now there's the band called sutherland brothers and quiver uh, who were doing a little better than us they had a record contract they were doing support tours and things like that and they were doing okay they borrowed a few a, a bass player Tex coma because their bass player was ill or something which was okay but then while they while he was playing with them they were kind of ah you can you might get 25 quid a week here, mate, you know, do it. And uh, so I think he was sorely tempted, but uh, in the end, he, he didn't, he didn't take up the offer. He stuck with it. He stuck with us. Love the new single. Great, like fantastic song. I don't know how, you know, I, I talk to a lot of artists and, and sometimes people will go, well, you know, I just kind of worked on like McCartney will do this. Oh, it's a good little tune, but Artists sometimes have this, well, it's just little old me because it is you. I mean, you look in the mirror, it's still the same face you see every day. But I mean, in order for you to have gotten in all those rooms and man, I've been playing you on the radio for years. I've been in radio 38 years. Do you stop sometimes and wonder like, what the heck kind of journey has this been? Yeah, sometimes. Not too often because I just keep going forward to try to anyway. But uh, if I stop and think about it, it's amazing. We're, you know, come a long way from... uh, a, a little kid in Sheffield with no nothing going, you know. I mean, I'm I'm a self-taught musician. I, I didn't know anybody. Started very humble beginnings, and it, it is amazing actually. I often feel like I'm really I'm name dropping. You know, it's like oh yeah, well, when I did this thing with Roger Waters, it's like oh you did that, and then it, you know, it, but it's not. But um, no, it's incredible and i'm so grateful to have uh, had a career we'll have more from paul carrick in the next three four days make sure you comment on our videos subscribe to our channel and share our videos i'm john bowden this is rock history music mm-hmm.